Hi, this is Darman. Welcome to another Minecraft Let's Play video. In this video series, I'm showing you how to creep very stealthily along a crazy porch. It looks like my feet aren't even moving. Anyway, uh, yeah, in the last video, we were building uh, the inside of the uh, Googly's Manor, and this is what we got done. We got this room, room done out here, and uh, I was about to say we got this room done here, but we do have uh, a correction that I need to... Uh, an addition, yeah, it's a correction. It's a, it's a correction that we need to uh, take care of first. Uh, so let's go over to the Love Garden. Yeah, so today uh, Ernie and Bert are my faithful uh, uh, Love Garden dogs. They're over here working hard. Uh, we've added uh, Jake Cobb to the uh, to the list of people here in the Love Garden. Thank you, Jake, for pointing out that uh, I forgot the, there's a painting. Uh, there's a big skeleton painting, which I, somehow I, I knew somewhere, but it got missing from my... Uh, my model so when i took pictures i didn't uh i just totally missed that so thank you jake uh we're gonna fix that right now and thanks uh bert and ernie for putting that in we just don't i don't get to look around here a lot much you know what this looks pretty fabulous out here somebody asked me if we were going to do like terrain over here but um beyond this right now i don't have any plans to do it just fyi in case you're wondering and then yeah i know there's a whole bunch of trees and stuff over here which you know uh, you, you can just go right ahead. There's like a, two or three more jungle trees, I think, and a whole bunch of spruce trees, I think. It's just kind of roaming over there. So, But I, I, I tend not to get too crazy on like the extra trees that are kind of laying around because well, they, they tend to go away, quite frankly. So uh, we uh, end up having to chop them down half the time. So anyway, thanks, guys. Uh, so let's get back over to the build. So the painting that Jake was talking about goes right over here. Uh, it's the big skeleton sitting there painting and uh the way i found that the best with paintings it sometimes depends on like where you point your you know the arrow Ooh, like you know it, it can depend on where you point your you know your little pointer as far as how big of a picture you're going to get because sometimes like if you if you were to put you know keep going with pictures up here you're never going to get the big picture it, it, the, the big ones are never going to come out um, but I found that the best place to do this, I think, was uh, was this block right here. In other words, like that block, you know, not on the edge. I, I believe this uh, is how I succeeded at that. And, uh, yeah, see, there's a pretty big one there. But the one we're looking for is uh, it's like four blocks wide, three blocks high. And it's that skeleton picture. And it looks like this. There we go. There, that's that's what the one. It was a big empty spot, really. I, you know, I should have known something had gone there and I'd missed uh, that detail. So thank you very much again, Jake. It's great to have help doing this because it's hard to do this thing alone, isn't it? Can you imagine trying to do this all by yourself. You've probably tried already and had a certain amount of success, but uh, I, I hope everybody's having a, a little bit more success helping each other out through uh, through these videos. So anyway, uh, we are going to start on the uh, the dining room and uh, this uh, library room here. So uh, let's see. We're going to leave the the red torch there because. We, we don't want the flapping of the door sound in the whole video. That would be colossally annoying. So uh, let's get started on this uh, on this dining room. Now, we are going to end up punching holes in the ceiling, as I mentioned in the last video. So uh, we'll start by building... Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to start. We're going to start with a chair because I think it's easiest to um, kind of position everything while well, starting with a chair. So if you go to this doorway over here, which is in the, in the very middle of that wall that leads to the next room, uh, we want to go to the third block, one, two, three. We're putting this, uh, this is a stone uh, brick chair, obviously. Uh, so there should be two bricks, two bricks, two blocks between here and there. And now we should have a, uh, a table that is going to be ten blocks, it's going to be three blocks wide. So we're going to just put it uh, right here. And then it's going to be ten blocks long. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, now I lost count because something went wonky there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, it's a little laggy today. Uh, maybe because of the, uh, I can hear the minecart going. So then we're just going to make three rows here. And of course, I've got to get rid of all these torches because although they were once helpful, they are now in the way. So let me just add, uh, we will, uh, we'll just put a little torch on the wall there. Uh, might actually be, is that the actual place that it goes? Oh gosh, you couldn't get, couldn't have gotten that lucky. Sure, like, can I, one, two, three, oh, huh, wow, that actually is where that goes. That goes, that's, and I think that's the middle of the room, if I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I guess you can't really quite put it in the middle, but, uh, anyway. And there, there since we got the torch in our hand, we might as well just go ahead and, there's one that goes right across here, but it goes down, 
uh, down on that one there. So we'll, we'll leave the other ones up for now just so we can see real good uh, while we do this. So we've got this 10 block long table. It's three, three fence blocks wide. Uh, and then on top of that, of course, is uh, stone pressure plates. Um, so we'll just put them down there. Uh, so then we can just go ahead and put our chairs around, poke some holes in the ceiling, and then we'll put um, uh, the glass around real quick. Uh, all right, so let's grab our stone uh, brick stairs. Now, again, this one goes uh, right here. Should be two blocks uh, that way. And uh, so on the edges, let's see. Let me make sure I orient myself uh, looking at my picture correctly. Okay, let me turn around this way. So the door is behind me here. And uh, uh, let's go to the far side because it's easier. I'm facing that way. So... Uh, we don't we want to leave this one empty and then we just here do every other one and then we should end up with right on the end here yeah so that last one is going to be there and that last block there is going to be empty and it's going to be exact uh, opposite on this side uh, or actually it's really exactly the same if you turn around it is exactly the same so it's going to go here 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 and here so these uh, that one is going to be empty on that side so uh, now the tricky part is the uh, oh well I was gonna say we're gonna do the glass panes but let's first what we need to do is punch holes above each of these chairs so we have to kind of carefully kind of look up to make sure we're it's got to be a better way to do this probably but once we get one I think we can probably probably get the other so if, uh, okay so this block we want to go over this this way one and then that way two all right so one one two so that should be right above this one so just go around yep there we go uh, and then we can just do every other one two we can see them coming and i think that's it for that side yep uh so let's see and we need punch one above here i think we'll just kind of look up here straight up here is that right i get that one right it's kind of hard to see a little bit uh so let's see then this one was over here and ahead two yep okay there we go so then every other one two three four more there and as i peek down there okay so yeah we will be uh coming back in and installing the full googly nonsense up here to uh, the little trap chamber up here which i as, as i recall never really worked all that great um for the most part although he claimed it did and then whenever the video started they did never worked so which is exactly how things go for me uh, as well so uh, now we want to do this uh, this these panes of glass very carefully uh, in a couple of spots and only because the whole thing is not hundred percent symmetrical and the, and I, I guess what I'll do is I'll, uh, we'll we'll do let's see these go right to the ceiling let's put um, the glass panes that go in between I'm gonna put them up first because they're gonna be sort of on the inside and once we get started on the outside, I don't really want to go back in. So I'm just going to put these in here. Go right to the ceiling with these. Uh, we should be meeting up with the... Ooh, I think I'm a little too close there. We should be meeting up with the ceiling. Uh, there. And here. And there. And there. You get the idea. Um, let's do these first. Then we'll deal with the, the ends for next. Because that's a, it's, a, it's handled a slightly differently. So let's just quickly... Go through these one two. it's just hard to work with glass you know you got to kind of got to be right on the edge of it you know what i mean uh, almost done here this one and that one it's like once you get that second one down it kind of goes a little faster oops and i see now i got one on the wall there we go all oh, the sound of glass shattering okay so on the parts that are left here this uh like on the end of each table there's like this side there's an empty spot and then on this opposite corner there's an empty spot uh, we do want to fill those up same way let's do those and then it's the outside part that gets to be is slightly not symmetrical and again I don't know if it was ever meant to be but um, or I have a couple of ideas why it's the way it is but uh, so let's see we got that one and that one and that one okay so next to these yeah next to we got to do the ones that are next to the the end chairs. Do that, and uh, this will all look a little bit more you know, like you're used to seeing it once we do the outside part, because these these kind of look like little, little kind of vertical plus signs if you look at it from you know from up here. Um, but once we start putting uh, you know the rest of it, it'll start kind of flattening out, uh, and it'll look more like 
like this, which is what we're doing now. Uh, so let's see. Let's, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Whoa, got a little close, a little close there. All right, so on each side of these end chairs, going to bring it all the way to the ceiling here and here. Is that first one? It's rough. Um, there. Okay. So mm, make sure I'm facing the right way. Okay. So here's the door leading back to the living room. Now uh, we are going to go. At this point, we are just going to go whatever place does not have glass. We're going to go right to the ceiling, and you'll see these are going to flatten out now. And uh, so we're going to put we're going to put glass all the way around these chairs on the ends. Bring that all the way up. Uh, it's easier to kind of go this way. And maybe it's it, like I said, it's kind of hard to work with just because it's it kind of changes shape. It's kind of like the uh, you know working with the, the iron fences. It's a little it's a little tricky. So we should have uh, all said and done. We should have this shape here. Uh, all right, so let's just do this side here. Oop, there we go. Okay, so uh, we're just going to be tightly going around these edges. Um, so from here, we're just going to draw a line all the way this way. And here, we're going to stop here. We are not going to continue out any farther than that. We're going to let that one connect up here. Uh, then we can just uh, let's see if I can do this easily. Just kind of run along here, there, and uh, oh, this is much easier. This this part is much easier to do than the rest. Much less time consuming. And there, bring this up to here. Run along this way, and uh, now yeah, everything is flattening out nice and nicely now, uh, which still leaves. Well, well, let's go to the let's go to the inside after I put this one up. If I could just stop spazzing out with my thumb here. There you go there. Nope. Oh, I'm just too close. That's the problem. Okay, there we go. So it's a nice flat wall, and then on the inside you'll get that. Um, uh, ooh, another, another. I hope they didn't put that that glitch back in. Uh, so yeah, so the googlies will. You know, the, the thought is that they'll fall down these holes, and uh, you know they won't try to get in each other's chairs, I guess, uh, and they'll just wander around and end up in somebody's chair uh, somewhere. So from the outside, we're going to continue this way. Uh, just be, oops, let me see here. Yeah, be careful here on this corner, which is, this is the corner that's, you know, we come out of the living room and we kind of go around the back right corner here. Um, this actually comes out here. It is not going to be like that corner. These are, these two corners are, are this corner and the far corner are going to be slightly different. This one is going to be more square. Oops, a little more square coming out. It's going to come out like kind of like two blocks, sort of. You know, the the you know the glass pane is in like the middle of the block, so it's kind of hard to say that it comes out two blocks. But from there, but we want it to come out here, uh, and you'll see that kind of just the glass sort of takes up that empty spot there. But over on the other side, it does not do that. Uh, it actually kind of hugs the uh, the chairs a bit more. Oh, and I missed a I missed one there. There we go. Uh, let's get in there. Oh, here we go. And I also have a little surprise for you in the next room when we go to do the uh, the uh, redstone. Redstone alert! Redstone alert! Redstone alert! Yeah, of course there's redstone in this video. It has to be redstone. We're going to do the library. All right. So let's... Uh, oops, I got a little extra there, don't I? Okay, so here's where we go. We've got... Th this is, you know, the kind of the uh, nice symmetrical side. Where it looks like this and this both of them are exactly the same and there's a little bit of extra glass um, on the inside there now over here now we're going to go around this chair like we did before and just kind of go back and forth fill this up and then we're going to do the corner last oh i guess i oops oops no no i don't want that there Glasses, the glasses is not only hard to deal with, it's hard to explain as well. Uh, so on the other side, what happened was, is we went like this. And connected it up like that. But we actually don't want to do this extra piece over here. We want it to have this kind of little shape like this. And I suspect that it's not symmetrical just because you tend to walk through here and it gives you a little more room to walk through to that way. Otherwise, it would kind of maybe get in the way a bit more. Uh, than the other corner. So this is the one corner which is different than the, all the others. Uh, so it ends up 
ends up looking like that. I hope that's coming through okay on the video. I know glass can be a little, a little grumpy looking <laughs> to look at. Uh, so anyway, so that is, that's it. That is the dining room done. Uh, like I said, we're going to go back and uh, do the upstairs of that uh, at a later point uh, in this series. So I'm just going to take out these extra torches. Uh, we should have just the one, like I did earlier. Oh, no, I'm sure there should be one above this door here. Uh, there should be from the entrance door. There should be on the third block, one, two, three, and then just do one directly across from it, and then one above here, uh, and that's going to be the door. So, uh, well, speaking of door, we're going to put this one in, and uh, we're not going to just slap it in there because then it would open to the left, and that is actually not the way his opens. It is another one of those where it's acts, it looks like the right side of a double door, so we're going to take this one out, put the door in, and then put, oh, uh, we have to get the spruce. We got to get the spruce. There we go, put that back. So now it'll swing to the right, and that's exactly uh, the way it should. So uh, that is the dining room. So on to the uh, the library. So when you walk in here, you're going to, um, we're going to put a pressure plate right here, right beyond, just beyond, it's hard to see, I know, it's, it's a wooden pressure plate right beyond uh, the bookcases there that we've already put down. Uh, so this is going to be the trigger point for everything that happens in this room, which, you know, we've got the uh, dispenser that's going to have the arrows, and then there's going to be the uh, pumpkin uh, jack-o'-lantern back there that's going to be exposed uh, by some pistons. So what I'm going to do uh, is, since this one has the pressure plate, I want to keep that right there, and I'm actually going to knock this out up here just because um, it's going to be easier to figure out where that block is from below otherwise it gets a little it's a little hairy uh so as we go down here you'll see remember back when i said we're going to dig this down oh hello mine cards uh we're going to dig this down four blocks and that's what we did well this side over here really actually it's going to work much better if we only have two so what i did is added a section here uh and i'll tell you exactly how big this is uh and this is facing that wall where we came in that door and facing this wall this is uh 11 blocks this no i'm sorry this is 10 blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then it goes out this way 11 blocks right one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven yep that'll be fine for for doing what we need to do so it's actually hollow under there i just kind of filled in the edge it doesn't you don't have to actually do all that just you just want to you want to make sure that you're two blocks away you know that you have two blocks here in between the uh what is down here the ceiling which is actually the, you know, obviously the floor from upstairs uh it, it, otherwise um if we do it if we leave it at four blocks high it's going to actually it's actually going to spread out the um redstone a little bit more than we want because we, we don't want to interfere uh with anything down here because it gets a little tight with the when the dungeon uh, we have to build that dungeon so uh let's go let's go back up here i'm going to grab this dispenser uh, and this goes on the fourth bookcase. One, two, three, and then we're going to put that right on there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill that with arrows so that we don't forget to do that. And uh, leave that there. So what we need to do is run redstone. And there's probably a couple, there's probably ten different ways to do every, everything that we're about to do. But I'm just going to show you the way Stampy did it. Uh, so we're going to build up two blocks behind what we have already. And then we're just going to build stairs going down. Uh, this one is the first step. And we actually want to leave two at the next level, and then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna break all this out over here, that's behind the wall, uh, these walls, because it's just gonna be. Um, actually, I'm gonna leave that for now. I'll leave, we'll get back to that. But over here, we'll just get rid of all this because you're never gonna see anything back here, and we do uh, need the room. So we're gonna put a block here, block here, leave two blocks here, only because we need to place the stair in, in such a place that it's not gonna interfere with the rest of this. So. Um, all right, so then we're just going to run a uh, some redstone on top of this block and down. Remember, of course, this is all going to be hidden by these walls, which we haven't built yet because I don't. It, it's just going to be easier to build without the walls first. Uh, so we're going to bring this trailer redstone down and we're going to leave it right. Uh, we're going to leave just one piece of redstone right there uh, for now, and uh, we'll move over to this area, which is where the pressure plate is, and underneath that, just so we have, make sure it's exactly underneath. There we go. Uh, we can take this one out because we want to put a blob of redstone. There's a technical term. One blob of redstone there. Uh, and then we want to go this way. Oh, you know what? First, I want to build a little countertop of dirt right here like that. That's good. Uh, and then 
let's see. That torch is probably going to interfere with something, but uh, we'll get we'll get, we'll get to that in a minute. Well, first, let's see. Let's finish where this is attaching to. So the uh, the redstone signal is going to come down from the pressure plate, and it's going to come right off of here. We're going to go. We're just going to drag some redstone right over this way, make a right turn, and then we're going to put one uh, repeater right here, and we're going to pull back one notch on that. Uh, that will slightly delay. Uh, the arrows firing for when the person comes in the room. Uh, so it actually gives them a much better chance of getting hit by the arrows. Um, anyway, and you can play with that and, you know, delay that as much as you want or leave it out and, you know, however you want to do it because uh, I think everybody can do it their own way. So that, that triggers uh, the arrows. Now we just need to trigger. There's a little, three little, um, what do you call them, uh, this note blocks, and they make this, like, ch -ch -ch sound when you come in the room. Uh, so we're going to do that now. I'm going to bring the redstone from here and drag it over here. And I guess we, now let's get, actually let's get rid of this. Uh, I'll put that one there and I think, well that, okay, yeah. I didn't sure if the torch was somehow going to foul it up, but it's okay. Uh, put that there and then we're going to put a, so we're going to put one piece here, one, uh, repeater here, another piece of redstone another piece of another repeater and one more piece of redstone here uh right in front of where the redstone is we're going to remove what we have there i'm going to put sand so oops <laughs> okay need to put more than one block of sand perhaps uh yeah that's because like i said it's hollow under there i didn't quite didn't quite uh plan that far ahead apparently all right so we have to put sand down because we want that ch -ch 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 sound otherwise if you put on dirt it makes some other sound it makes a the, the boom. So I think it's like that. I think it's one of those. But anyway, uh, so put the note blocks right down on top of the sand. And uh, so for the position of these redstone repeaters, this one should be all the way back. And it looks like this one is back one. We can you can kind of play with however you want it to, however you want it to sound. And then now we're we're kind of because of the type of sound that it is, you can change the pitch on these without. <laughs> it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. It goes you know well you, you can play with it but it's like it does change pitch but it it's not i think he mostly well actually he had help doing this one i remember that um i think it was pretty much left i'm just gonna leave him at the original position and just leave him at the first note i think that's that's more than fair you can you know change it up however you want uh but it should sound let's see do i have like a I don't want to go up there to just to activate this. I'm just going to grab a button here. Uh, let's see if I put this here, it should activate everything. Let's see here what this sounds like. Yeah, it, okay. That seems a little slow, actually. I'm going, to, I'm going to put this back here and just do that like two. Let's do that two. Okay. All right. Well, like I said, you can enjoy that, you know, customize that however you want. Uh, if you want that to be slow or whatever, um, let's see here. All right. So, uh, that takes care of all that. You see, yeah, you could probably hear the arrows firing off as I stood up here. Yeah. So they're, they're, uh, they're landing way over here and, uh, go ahead and slurp them up. And, uh, so that's working good there. So now we can, we can put, uh, oh, let's grab some, uh, oak planks. We can put them back. Uh, so we don't forget. Uh, did you... All right, so that is that part of the redstone is done. Uh, so now we need to do the part where the uh, uh, the what do you call it um, jack o' lantern, which we're going to grab right now and we'll put there in place of the sand. And we're going to need a uh, piston, sticky piston that is, uh, for this next bit. Okay, I'll just put that there. Uh, so let's see, the uh, the pumpkin is going to go actually it's going to go in the middle of this wall, but it's and it's going to be attached. It's going to be like right at at this level but you can't you can't put a pumpkin you got to put something under it so first we're going to do that um, now we can put the pumpkin on top of that now this block right here that i'm pointing at that's just like underneath this thing uh this is the one that's going to move so temporarily i'm going to um actually no permanently i'm going to get rid of this row of uh of uh blocks and we are going to Actually, I'm going to get rid of all these here. One, two, three, let's get rid of all those. That's fine. Uh, so under here, there's currently a block of wood, which is from the floor that we built. We're going to have to get rid of that. And then let's just use some dirt, and you can put it right in front of here and build up 
uh, here. Yep. Yes. Uh, so we want to be one block away from the uh, bookcase. And let's get the... Okay, yeah. Now that's pointing straight up. And if I were to put a... No, that doesn't work at all. All right. <laughs> uh, let's just make a little step here and um, trail a redstone. And that would... Okay, yeah. So that's going to go up. So that's going to be... We want this to be permanently in the up position. And then when this gets fired off, it will briefly uh, come down to reveal... Uh, our little pumpkin. So um, let's get rid of this now. This is not accurate. Uh, all right. So we have the redstone going into this block and it activates uh, that, which is good. Uh, you could also, the way, he, the way he actually has it is this. All right. So let's just, let's be accurate here. Is, is this, the actual redstone is going like right, oops, no, <laughs> redstone is going right into it uh, like that. So let's just, let's just do that. It, it, either way will work. Uh, obviously so let's just leave that as it is and let's continue from the point where the power is coming down and we'll we'll just keep moving towards uh, that uh, piston so from here we want to come over to and then go forward one with the redstone and then we're going to get some repeaters we're going to put four from down one two three four and uh, yeah they are always in the way the torches aren't they we can put that right there. That's good. Uh, might as well put one right here because we're probably going to need some over there. So we should have one block of emptiness between, you know, this uh, redstone here and these uh, repeaters. Uh, so then these uh, are going to put one blob here, redstone here, put two to the left of that. And we're going to come, I'm going to turn around and we're going to go this direction now. Uh, let's see, we're going to put one blob there. We're going to put uh, two blocks of something doesn't matter. I think he had oak down there or something uh, And we're gonna put a redstone torch on top of this and Then piece of redstone there, and this is where the power is going to come from That's going to I have to do Two here. We don't want to we want to be here because it'll start connecting there So we gotta we gotta be over here. So this is why uh, it is 11 blocks long. So we just bring this right over here Aha, uh -huh, you heard it. So there it is. It is up so the power is coming off of here, and it's making this piston be up all the time. So now, it sh oh, uh, these all need to be pulled back all the way. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And uh, let me get rid of this button now. Uh, actually, that wouldn't probably have been... Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll do it from up here to get the full effect. Okie dokie, let me stand over here. I don't want to step on it quite yet. So we come in... Here's the sound. We walk over here, and then whoop! There's the uh, scary pumpkin, and and now uh, there we go. All right, so that's all working, and uh, you know you can adjust the timing however you want. Um, but this is how he had it set up down here uh, when he showed us how he did that redstone. So there we go. That is the redstone. Not bad. Not bad. It's could you simplify it? I don't know. Maybe if I sat there and thought about it. Anyway, so let's let's get to uh, we can actually go back to just building the rest of the room uh, and decorating it. So the, now that all that that nastiness is done, so we need some uh, bookcases. Gosh, we need all kinds of crazy stuff. We need um, some brewing stands, uh, crafting table. What else do we need? Oh, oh some uh, cauldrons, which of course are going to require a little bit of water. Um, some torches. And, uh, where are we? I know they're on this menu. Where they? Oh, there. Oh, we're gonna need for the ceiling. The ceiling in here is the stone brick. Where is it? I don't want to grab the the silverfish one. Okay. So uh, these walls are gonna be. We're gonna see four blocks. So we've got already got one, two, three, four. So on top of that is gonna be our uh, our stone brick. Uh, that that you don't actually really need that. And this is just kind of a dead space back here. I'm going to put something in there and knock yourself out. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is just going to come up. Or, and then we'll just put some... Uh, put some stone bricks on top of that. Just make sure you bring the wall all the way back to here. And uh, line that up there. Uh, and this should stay as like, kind of like a countertop. And then we'll just drag that over that way. Oops, got a little too much on there. And, all right. So, we're going to leave the torches back there to keep it lit nicely. And... Uh, I'm going to leave what would be the doorway there because it just makes it a little easier to build 
on top of it. We need a couple of torches in here, which we'll put in. There we go. And we just got a couple more sections here. Oh, this is the last one. Okay. Uh, and let's see, we got two above the, oops, above the doorway there. And the doorway to the next area uh, is uh, kind of right in line with that. Should line up this with what you already built uh, from last time. So... Uh, let's see over here. Oh, we're gonna need an enchanting table too. What? Uh, there we go. Forgot we're gonna need that. Uh, torches. Let's do those first since it's getting kind of dark in here. Uh, the torch should go at the fourth block level. You know, right up against the ceiling, and they're gonna be right across from each other. So one's above the uh, dispenser, and then one is directly across uh, up there. And that's really it. Um, so over in this corner, when you come through the dining room to the left, uh, you're going to have a crafting table in the corner, uh, then leave a spot, and then put the enchanting table uh, right there. And over in this corner, we're going to put two cauldrons, and we're going to put some water in those. There we go. Over here, we need some brewing stands. There's going to be two on the right side, and then one on the left, I believe. Yep, and that's that. Uh, so then we're just going to, on top of all this, we're just going to put, uh, stone bricks for the ceiling. Okay, let's just give this room, uh, uh, one last test, shall we? Uh, well, let's, let's just start from the beginning. Do, do, do. Okay, so let's pretend I didn't just go, come out the door like, oh, look, here's a nice, uh, ordinary looking living room. Oh, this, this is normally beyond. All right, well, we'll leave that off. And, oh, look at all the googlies that are dropping from the ceiling. Okay, we've gone through here. And uh, we're into this room, and hey, there's a nice room here. Oh my gosh, I just got shot in the face with an arrow. And oh, there's the uh, there's a scary pumpkin there. I think I better head this direction. Okay, so that's working all good. Uh, slurp them up, and uh, we can put them back. You can just go ahead and fill this thing up with arrows, because you know, you know, all your friends are going to want to run through this thing, through this uh, thing. Trust me. All right, so let's do uh, this hallway and the redstone fort, and that'll be uh, that'll be all for this video. So. First thing we're going to do is take out this row. Actually, you know, let, hold off, hold off, hold off. Let's do this first. Um, let's see, first of all, let me just put a couple of more torches over here just so we can see real good. Uh, we'll get rid of them in just a little bit. So we're going to need some redstone stuff. Uh, let's see. Well, of course, we're going to need sticky pistons. Uh, I'm going to grab some oak. I might need to replace some oak planks. Uh, we're going to need some redstone, some redstone torch, redstone repeater. Oh, a, uh, what do you call it, a pressure plate. Uh, wooden pressure plate to trigger all of that. I think that should do it. All right, so what we want to do is, let's start with the pressure plate again. Uh, and right here, this is the wall of the other room, obviously. Uh, so we want to put this pressure plate on the third one. One, two, yeah, the third one right here. Uh, so yeah, so we're going to go ahead and take out... Uh, no, let's wait, 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 wait. Okay, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I need the uh, I need some oak uh, wood here, and since I have room in my inventory, I might as well grab the cake. Uh, we're gonna need that. So on this end, uh, we're gonna put, I should we should have done this on the last one if you didn't already. Put that one there. Um, this is gonna be the wall in the hallway, and then we're gonna put one block of wood there with the cake on top of it. Okay, just. Just hold off on doing anything else with that area for now. Uh, so these next five uh, blocks are going to, we're going to take these out. One, two, three, four, five. There should be one there, and then there would be the um, the pressure plate there. So in the same place where these five are, let's see, I want to start here, and then we're just going to get rid of these planks back here. We don't need them. Uh, we are going to leave these, though. Uh, so we need to, oh, and we're going to get rid, yeah, we got rid of those already. So from under here, I think I can put, I think I can place these in the right direction. Nope, not that way. Uh, there, nope. Uh, can I do it from up here? Is it being that finicky? Oh, uh, I guess I can't. I know, I was able to do this before, I swear. Oh, and it's facing, oh, you know what, maybe. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's get rid of these under here for now as well. That way I can easily place one, two, three, four, five pistons, sticky pistons, and then I can replace the wood that it's going to push out uh, in just a minute. So, all right, to trigger it, uh, where's that pressure plate? Uh, it's right here. Yeah, okay, so it's right here. So we're going to knock out this block here. So we're going to have 
actually no we're gonna knock out both so so it should stop right here and we're gonna I'm just using wood since I have it in my inventory you can use whatever you want uh, we're gonna put two blocks here and then we're just gonna build a little staircase down to where let's see where is that trigger it should be right above here yep there it is all right so I want to be one block away from that which is Oh, well, actually, no, I guess it would be up here, wouldn't it? Because I don't want to be one block away yet, because there's the hallway. Uh, so then we just need to put one blob here, then a repeater facing this direction. Uh, and that's going to be pulled back all the way. Uh, then we're going to have, actually, we're going to put one more block here. And a redstone torch on top of that. Is that going to... That should still put the signal through, but we can get rid of this block anyway that's fine we can get rid of these here just so you can see uh, yeah that'll be fine uh, and then we're gonna put uh -huh, one redstone blob there and another repeater there uh, and that one is also pulled all the way back so this like we did in that room uh, for the pumpkin it leaves these uh, oops what's going on oh I didn't put the rest of the redstone so it doesn't put redstone all the way down here to activate all those there we go uh, I'm just gonna put it right on top layer like there for some reason that triggers these I don't know <laughs> otherwise you'd have to figure out some way to kind of get it into the side of each one but that's a very simple method and that uh, that does work so now all of them are extended and the floor is seemingly uh, whole and some uh, sapless person comes through here uh, I'm stuck here okay so let's just stop flying walk here like hey there's some cake and they just start running for it and then whoop oh it didn't work <laughs> Did I have a little too much delay on that? Maybe maybe we need to adjust this delay uh, just a little bit. That seemed like it took a while to uh, to activate. Let me let me see here. Let's see. Yeah, it's a little... You know, you're... Like I said before, different... I swear, different worlds can react differently. Let's take that, let that delay off completely. So if you're just walking through here and just walking at normal speed, you want to make sure that... Yeah, okay. I can live with that. Uh, you just want to make sure that they don't get to the cake. That's that's it. Maybe I'll just do two pulls on that one. Oops. So you can adjust it as you, at, you know, if, whatever works for your world. You just want to make sure you're kind of like right out in the middle. There we go. Somewhere right kind of out in the middle of this mess. So they drop down and they're like, oh my goodness. And then he's, you know, we get to the part with the lava and the dungeon and stuff down there uh, at a later time. So there we go. So now the redstone is working. Uh, so what we can do is neaten up this uh, part and put the rest of the oak down uh, for this hallway. And, uh, oh, of course, we have to get rid of the rid of the torches that are in the way. Uh, now the hallways are going to be, uh, let's see, they go up to, yeah, they go up to here. Like the, the oak uh, logs will go up to here. Uh, and then just get some oak planks for the ceiling. You can just kind of maybe do this, drag it along. Oh, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to put a torch in there. Before I forget, because you can't see anything in here, right at the end here. There we go. And just take our blocks and just finish the ceiling off like this. You can cap the whole thing off, it doesn't really matter. Uh, so there we go. Uh, oh, we need a door here. We need a, We need a door. And the door... Actually, it's just a regular old door. We don't have to do anything special with it. It does have to be oak. Uh, but you face in here, and it will open to the left, as it should, uh, by default. And then you walk through here, and boom. Oops, I was flying. Sorry. That was a bad um, example, and I'm right. now I'm not flying anymore. Dude, you do. Hey, there's some cake. I'm going to have some. Ah! You know. There we go. That's the effect we're going for, the screaming uh, after hoping for some cake. Because there's nothing worse than thinking you're about to have some cake and actually ending up in some lava. So uh, that is going to be it for this video. We got those two rooms done. That's the worst of it. In fact, that's, well, no, that's not the worst of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I lied there just for a second there. Uh, the redstone is, is going to get worse from here. No, it's not going to, it's not horrible at all. Uh, the redstone for the, um, the room, uh, Stampy's, the room, yeah, the googly room, the, the, the creeper room, bedroom, that's, that's, that, that's going to take some time it, and it, it's going to sit, most of it sits like right over here on top of this thing. 
Uh, so, all right. So, where do we want to end this video? Oh gosh, I'm already locked out. No, no, I don't want to go down one of the holes. Let's go in. Let's go in this way. I'm gonna have to go back in here. And I wish I could get. You know, maybe I should have done it in there. I should have done it from inside there. That would have been funny. I probably would. The camera would have moved too close to me. It would have been pretty. Whoa! I'm getting shot at here. Okay. All right. How about I stand up here? Whoa! Uh, with my uh, with my with my pumpkin friend here. I'm Darman68, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!